Hey guys, Kim here, and you are tuned into Kim E, the Diabetes MP, a place where nurse practitioners can come and improve their diabetes education and management skills. If you are tuned into this broadcast, you have opted in for the free insulin email course. Thank you so much for trusting me in your journey to learn more about insulin and just taking this journey with me. Um, if you have not, there are two things that I want to make sure that you do before we jump into it. There is a printable workbook that goes along with this course. In that workbook, it's kind of like my expanded outline notes. I kind of put some extra things in there and I may mention some of those things in this uh, recording but if you have that you will have everything um, that goes along with this course as well as some space to write your own notes also I have linked in probably I believe the welcome email I linked the algorithms for the AACE and ADA and just for those who are new to me and just to remind those who have been follow me on my YouTube channel. This platform, my platform here, Kim E the Diabetes MP, is is it serves as a resource for us nurse practitioners. I am assuming that we are that. We're rather nurse practitioner students or we're nurse practitioners, okay? So I am not going to go into a deep dive into a deep lecture over pathophys and pharmacology because I'm assuming that we're all coming in with some type of foundation of learning, okay? So it will help you a lot if you have the workbook printed out and you have the algorithm because I am going to refer to those uh, throughout the course and it will be good if you have those handy. So let's go ahead and get into the course. Physiology. Now we know that insulin is made in the pancreas. It's secreted by the beta cells of the islets of Langerhans. Now here's something else to note about insulin. It comes from a bigger molecule called pro-insulin. Now, when the glucose in our body is elevated, that pro-insulin cell, that molecule, cleaves down into two molecules, one being insulin, one being connecting peptide, okay? We more commonly know this molecule to be C-peptide. Now, a fun fact about C-peptide is more so with type 1 than type 2. If you want to indirectly figure out if someone may be dealing with diabetes, get a C-peptide level. We know that insulin and C-peptide, they're going to be released in equal amounts. So if C-peptide is low, then the insulin is low. Just a quick little tidbit if you ever are trying to figure out some things and put the puzzle pieces together. Also, we know that amylin is also co-secreted as well with insulin. And the thing about amylin, uh, amylin, and I also made a video about this if you need a little refresher over that drug course, and I'll make sure to link it up here or down in the description box. But amylin is secreted as well, and it actually helps to enhance the effects of insulin. 